now start sir we are all aware of the need for fulfilling our commitments as far as the 11th five year plan is concerned i am sure everyone is also willing to sacrifice for the cause of our country a cause which must override all individual communal provincial or even petty political considerations money has to be found and found primarily within our own borders for in the long run a nation has to stand on its own strength the finance minister has therefore rightly said that everyone rich or poor has to shoulder the great burden if we are to achieve our aims and objectives but while everyone is and must be willing to put his shoulder to the wheel he can only do as much as is commensurate with his strength has that strength been appraised aright and what will be the consequences if the burden is more than any sector can bear the cost of living has gone up considerably we are told that prices have gone up because the purchasing power of the people has increased has the purchasing power of the people increased peri passu with the rise in prices i doubt it very much i am not an economist but i did learn that deficit financing will always cause inflation and if that is so the more we go in for deficit financing the higher will soar the prices of commodities women are said to be poor finances as a woman i admit that with the large majority of my sex i know nothing in regard to the theory of high finance but as a woman i also have to meet household expenditure and i am not at all sure that women do not how best to make two ends meet but i fear that the present proposals are going to make it very very hard and in fact may life impossible for these who are poor and the largely majority of this country are poor i am glad to read in the papers that kerosene oil has been left but by the finance minister but he is taxing heavily such other things as the poor man needs like cloth sugar tea food grains etc they are not commodities whose prices can be sent up without touching the poor man's purse talking of tea i wonder if something could be done to stop its adulteration now food cannot continue to be doled out to the poor forever with promises of subsidy whether by rupees 200 crores which the honorable finance minister is going to put aside for supplementing the food needs of the nation or by fair price shops production is every sphere in the only answer but an under nourished person can never produce why has the lowest income rate for taxation been lowered to the extent of making life still harder for the poor man i think everybody who has anything to do 
with expenditure today realizes that rupees 1000 per month for a family is nothing at all take a man who has got to food himself his wife and three or four children and perhaps his father and mother who are dependent on him how can he possibly pay taxation on this small income the prices of the postcard has been raised why the rise in railway fares too is going to hit him the poor sir should be made less poor that should be the objective of every government but i fear greatly that the present budget proposals are going almost the other way in many directions on the assumptions of the fulfillment of the plan which might itself indeed break on the rock of finance sir i have said i do not believe in destructive criticism or at any rate i said i would offer some constructive criticism now there is no one who sympathizes with the finance minister in his efforts to raise money but will be willing to listen to other ways and means which will not hit the poor man quite so hard instead of raising the postcard rate why cannot the price of the stamped envelope be raised from 1 rupee to 2 rupees i would not mind even if the cost of the reply postcard was raised to 1 rupee but i object strongly to the cost of the simple postcard whether local or internal being increased i do not know what the yield from such a mayor that is raising the cost of the envelope from 1 rupee to 2 rupees will be but i imagine it will not be less than the tax on the postcard i believe i am right in saying that our civil aviation rates are less than those in the world the aeroplane up to date is the rich man's means of convenience why cannot air fares be raised rather than railway fares sir i may be pardoned for saying so in this house